Hi Pisces and welcome to your love scope for July 1st through July 15th, 2019. I'm going to look at singles, couples, dating, um, disconnected and everything in between. So I will start off by pulling three cards to look at past, present and future energies Pisces. So we, let's see what's showing for you guys. My last reading. All right, Pisces, we start out July with romantic gesture. That is very nice. We like to see that. Let's hope it keeps flowing. Ooh, lust. There we go. And finally, we have serious relationship. Ooh, Pisces, love it. Love it. Um, next one out is admirer. So I'm just going to pop that out. Um, listen, Pisces, ooh. Woo, woo, woo. Um, for those of you who are coupled up, let me tell you, um, this looks beautiful these first two weeks of July for you guys. Um, your partner may be surprising you with a little token of affection, romantic gesture, or you might be doing that for your partner, okay? I just see with romantic gesture, lust, and serious relationship, those of you who are committed, this is just a really good two weeks for you guys. We're getting along. Um, we're feeling our chemistry and our connection with each other. We're being playful. Um, one of you could be feeling really proud of, um, like you could be feeling very proud of your partner, Pisces, or they could be feeling very proud of you for some sort of accomplishment. And that's what the gift is about. And it, it just like sparks all this energy between the two of you. Okay, so those of you in a committed relationship, Pisces, it looks awesome these first two weeks, okay? Um, for those of you who have been kind of just like dating somebody, Pisces, I really see you guys taking it to the next level in these next two weeks, meaning you guys are getting committed, like solidifying the relationship, no longer, you know, oh, I'm just seeing that person or I'm just dating them. It's like you guys are getting committed. So Pisces, those of you who have been kind of dating somebody specific, I see it getting locked down, all right? Single Pisces, um, listen, there is somebody who is all about you, and I feel like these first two weeks of July, they're finally going to make their move, and they're going to put themselves out there to you, and there is going to be a lot of passion and chemistry flying. In fact, it to me, just based on all of this, um, it's the relationship will move very quickly, and um, you guys will be committed like that's my person very very quickly just because of the chemistry and connection and some of you Pisces this may be somebody who has really been interested for quite some time and just kind of held back and now they're finally going to make a play for you um, other Pisces whether you're single dating coupled up there's somebody crushing on you okay and they have a lot of passion for you. Um, so if you've been feeling like, I think such and such likes me, you're absolutely right that they like you, okay? Um, this is just very positive energy for Pisces. Those of you who are disconnected from somebody, there could be a reappearance of them, okay? Just saying with this lineup, um, also it's single Pisces, I do feel like there's some offers coming in these first two weeks. Um, people being very interested in you, um, be very spoiling to you. Something about your energy, Pisces, is just turning heads and attracting people. So let's pull some dice and see what comes out there. All right. Okay, yes, Pisces, oh my gosh, you have all major arcana dice, so I know this is a big deal. First, we have the High Priestess, next out, oh my god, I didn't even see this, look it, we have the Emperor and the Empress side by side, followed by none other than the Lovers, yes, Pisces, oh, so good. So good. And lastly, the chariot, which even better. So um, people that you could be dealing with. We 
could have a fellow Pisces. Um, we could have an Aries. We could have a Gemini. We could have a Cancer going on. Does not have to just be those signs, but that's what um, represents in the tarot each sign, a Gemini and a Cancer and an Aries here. And then um, I just associate High Priestess to Pisces. So Pisces, listen up. Again, those of you in committed relationships, I mean, you guys are just like a power couple right now. You could be planning a trip. If you're going on a vacation, it looks like it's going to be fabulous. Um, there could be something coming into um, your relationship, like um, through the job front on your side or their side, which is just like a huge blessing. Um Man, Pisces, those of you who are in committed relationship, it just looks good. It really, like, you guys are a power couple. You're holding it down. Um, you're in love. Things are going great for the two of you, okay? I, I just, I don't know what else to report other than that. You could be surprised with a little trip, okay? Um, like, there's a gift coming in. I see travel. Um, this may be some of you. This is, like... If you're not married, this could be where we're getting proposed to or mutual deciding like, hey, let's get married or hey, let's move in together if you haven't yet. I mean, a committed relationship doesn't always mean that you're married or living together. So that could be the next step. This, again, could be like some sort of vacation surprise happening going on. Whatever it is, Pisces, it's good stuff and you're happy, they're happy, all is right in the world for committed Pisces. That's just what I see coming through this reading. Now, those Pisces who are single, um, actually, let's go to those Pisces who are like, you know, been kind of just dating somebody. Yeah, right there, Emperor, Empress and Emperor, followed by the lovers. It's like, you guys are really going to get locked in with each other. You are a perfect match, like a power couple. I do see a power couple coming through this reading very strongly, Pisces. Single Pisces. Oh my God, I don't think you're going to be single for much longer, okay? Whether this is a new romance showing up or this is somebody from the past, it's just you've got this admirer and they want to get you on lock, Pisces, 100%. Like, they want you. They want to be your lover. They want to be, um, you know, your person. They want to be in a serious relationship with you, okay? I, I mean, it's just all right there. Single Pisces, man, there's a, a serious offer coming your way for sure. And again, this could be a new person or this could be, you know, somebody from your past. It's just... Um, somebody is very much feeling you, Pisces, and they're going to make a play. They're going to make themselves known. You've got five major arcana dice up there, all right? That's like a um, big life event, and when you've got it across the board, like some of you, this relationship could, could just kind of happen like out of nowhere, completely unexpected, um, and maybe shortly thereafter, you guys are like planning a trip with each other, okay? It's just, I see a relationship like brand new or existing moving very quickly, deeply solidifying um, at a fast, fast pace. It's just pretty incredible to me, Pisces. I thought um, Libra and Aquarius had good readings, but you, my friend... Um, and as I'm saying that, look at what just jumped out, the Illuminaries. Um, if this was a standard tarot deck, this would be the star. What represents the star? Aquarius. And so if you have an Aquarius or you meet an Aquarius, Pisces, wow. That's all I got to say. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this all about? Let's take a look. Um, all right, so we got a few extra cards here. But yeah, Libra, uh, Libra and Aquarius have really good readings, Pisces, and I am going to say yours is actually better than theirs. Like you guys take the cake for best of love reading these first two weeks of July. All right. Yes. Look at that. The novice, new emotion, new cycle, new path. Pisces, that speaks for itself. 
even if you are in an existing connection, this to me is talking about the next level. You guys are going to that next step that you're taking, whether it's something in physical reality or this is just emotional. All right, boom, there it is. Those of you kind of just dating somebody, here's where we're getting locked in. Um, those of you where there's somebody returning or finally confessing some emotion, Pisces, it's the start of a new relationship. Quite unexpectedly, twist of fate, big change, blessing in disguise, wake up call. This to me is like you are shocked. It comes out of nowhere. Um, this relationship or who's professing their love or who's returning. Oh my gosh, Ace of Flames, new or reigniting connection. Wow, Pisces. And that's sitting right here. I'm going to put this admirer card up here so that you can look at all of them as we go through the reading. Um, boom. Oh my gosh, Pisces, are you kidding me? And remember, these cards flopped out, okay? They were like, no, we are part of this reading. Lovers with two of flames, mirror, love, soulmate. Are you kidding me? Pisces, wow. Nine of roses, abundance, independence, luxury. Um, oh, uh, yeah, this to me, Pisces, is uh, talking about just the richness and depth of this connection. Next out is messenger of thoughts, telepathic messages. Wow. Um, you know, whether this is an existing relationship, newer, or something returning or coming in for the first time, you guys are connected at the soul with telepathic message. Oh, are you kidding? Get out of town. What do we have here? Pisces, twin flames, align, divine union, true love. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to put that here because we have ace of flames, two of flames, and then twin flames. And lastly, we have the Divine Masculine of Emotions, Awakened, Sensitive, Romantic. Pisces, um, this opens up, could also involve a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, fellow Pisces, strong air energy, um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Pisces. And then with the Novice and then the Emperor, again, there's a strong Aries there, but wow, Pisces, I just have to say with this reading, this is like all about divine union, twin flame, soulmate, the one you belong with. Some of you, this is coming in so unexpectedly. You're like, whoa, whoa. And the relationship just moves so quickly. Like we're in a serious relationship at the end of two weeks, okay? Um, those of you in existing connection, like, man, you guys are meant to be together for all of time, okay? And this big twist of fate, I feel, is this a beautiful shifting to this energy where you guys are being put in a position of power as a couple or you're falling deeper in love or you're taking the next step. Like, it's just magic, Pisces. Like, oh my gosh, I cannot get over this reading, how beautiful it is. And, um, you know, those of you kind of just met somebody, just kind of dating as you move into July. It moves so quick. Um, single Pisces, again, there's this new offer coming in or it's a return of somebody. But it's like game on, serious commitment, straight out the gate. Both sides, twin flame love. Oh, I love it. So, Pisces, let's pull some more cards here um, to wrap this up. Okay, self-healing journey. Mutual spiritual mission and eternally yours yes Pisces and look at it's the same image that we're talking about twin flames oh my god it does not get better than this like I know I'm ridiculously excited in your reading but Pisces like you just don't know like this reading doesn't happen every day I thought Libra's was good I thought Aquarius was good but looking at yours no 
This is confirmation. Those of you who are in committed relationships, my goodness, Pisces, that is your one. That's your twin flame. That's your soulmate. That is exactly where you are supposed to be. And I, like I said, I see spirit elevating you guys. Some of you, um, you know, this could be talking about that crystalline twin flame union where you guys are now going to start walking in a more spiritual path, a more spiritual light, which comes after some healing that's taken place in one or both of you as well as within the relationship spirit really opening up your heart spaces and some of you are going to finally align into that crystalline twin flame union and you have spiritual work and mission to do together as a couple and it could not be any more beautiful and wow congratulations to you guys others of you in union to me this is just where even though you've chose this person man you guys are falling in love again and uh, you could be celebrating an anniversary. It's just your hearts are ignited with love, with passion, with excitement for each other. You are in a position of power. Those of you kind of just dating somebody, I'm telling you that I feel like that is your one. And you guys are, are going to lock it down. And single Pisces, uh, man, there is a new romance or somebody from your past returning these first two weeks. It, that is where you belong. That's your twin flame. That is your one. Like this whole reading, Pisces, like that's the theme. Whether you are single, dating, or in a committed relationship, this first two weeks is all about where you belong romantically. Twin flame, like really deep stuff, real love true connection that exists at the soul whether near or far we feel each other we can read each other's thoughts okay um also for those of you that have somebody returning and pisces again i do want to point out for some of you this is so unexpected and such a shock for you like you never saw it coming um the person that's returning i feel maybe in the past they weren't fully open to love and romance and now they are awakened romantic and sensitive when they return to you or this new connection coming in Pisces it's just you guys are a perfect match so freaking compatible with each other it's ridiculous okay so like best love reading of all time for Pisces right here this doesn't happen every day um so for those of you where you know this is uh resonating and this is your story wow congratulations to you this is the kind of love that everybody wants right here me included and um yeah just twin flame confirmation across the board some of you who's coming in to express this love to you pisces you're like what are you kidding me like you really feel this way about me or somebody returning to you, you might find to be very shocked that they have not been able to stop thinking about you, Pisces. Because at the end of the day, the card right there, eternally yours. Oh, I love it. So anyways, Pisces, those are your messages. I am wishing you all the best. Take care.